coverage of local high school basketball on WCIA3 is sponsored by Loman Ray Insurance Group. Now, all the action and excitement of Full Court Friday. Welcome to Full Court Friday. Andy Olson and Brett Barron's here with 16 games ahead. Just a month left in the regular season for the boys before postseason play begins. It'll be here before we know it. Just three weeks before the girls tip off playoffs. And speaking of tournaments, several in play tonight and this weekend as we work towards March. And that's where we begin with the Vermilion County Girls title up for grabs between Armstrong, Potomac, and Salt Fork. Dak hosting this year's event and good pressure by Alexa Jamison. She gets the steal the other way for the layup. Storm up 18-6 after the first quarter. Hey, Alexa, how many points did you have? Jamison, she went for 27. Trojans moving the ball. Freshman McKenna Ackerman for two. Trojans down 27-11 at the half, though. And Storm on a roll. Look who it is. Jamison looking pure on the night. Wow, step back is nice. The sophomore goes past the 1,000 point mark tonight in her career, not the game. That would be some kind of record. 45 <laughs> 24, the final. Salt Fork walks into the county title. It's amazing feeling, for, and I'm so proud of these girls. You know, they've worked hard to get to this point, and they did everything I asked them to do. So, super, super proud of them. It's been awesome. I honestly couldn't have done it without my teammates and all my coaches, travel ball coaches throughout all the years, all my teammates. The thousand point thing was such a dad joke. Third place like game it? at Dak has Georgetown Ridge Farm facing Oakwood. Oakwood's Kaylee Thiessen lobs it down to Cherokee Hanner, who lays it in. Five point lead for the Buffaloes at that point. But Comets Addie Wright picks off the pass, gone down the court for the fast break layup. Oakwood only trailing by three at that point. Now it's Buffaloes. Addie Spessard finds Sydney Spessard for the short jumper. Buffaloes lead by five going into half, and they hold that lead. They win just by one, though. 43 42 the final. Let's go to Bloomington and the Shirk Center side of the McLean County and Heart of Illinois Conference Tournament. Gibson City Melvin Sibley taking on Eureka in the semifinals. Brayden Elliott on the fast break drives the point. Lays it in, then Seth Colross takes the pass from Zach Barnes in the corner. He gets two there as well. GCMS trying to hang tough. Colross takes the ball in the paint, pushes for the basket. That is good as well, but Falcons fall 46 36. They will play for third tomorrow. Opening games of the Lincoln Prairie Conference Tournament. We start with Blue Ridge at Villa Grove. The Knights Corbin Colbert on the drive through the lane. Shot missed, but Colin Michaels has the offensive rebound and put back Colbert on the wing now. Dribble drive. This floater is good to go that time. Blue Ridge running it up on the Devils. VG cutting back into the lead though. Robert Fancher to Lucas Shadwick in the corner. The triple's good. VG comes all the way back after a deficit in the first half. 48-43 the final there. Also an LPC tournament play. Tri-County and Argena Oriana. First quarter. Bombers Jamario Barbie off the loose ball. Gets it. Fights his way through traffic off glass 15-4 bombers take the early lead tri-county trying to put in some work but not doing so well there's the layup it was ethan mahan he calls his shot in the corner that's good for three 21 10 at that point and the bombers go on to win a big 68 to 43. arthur lovington atwood hannon matches up with heritage and another LPC tourney game we start in the second quarter. How about this nifty reverse finish from ALAH's Connor Nettles. Look at that under the basket. Looking like Dr. J a bit there. Heritage is Julian Gray now with the quick answer on the other end. Plays that one off the glass. Clock winding down in the half. Wyatt Hilligoss says, if you're going to give me a window, I'm going to take it. He gets the shooter's touch to go into the night. Put up an astounding 71 as they take this one over the Central Illinois Conference action in a good one in Tuscola between the host Warriors at 16 and 3 and the 18 and 4 Clinton Maroons. Warriors win the opening tip. First possession, Josiah Horton finds Parker James on the weak side. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Guy even work out? Not sure. It was all Maroons early here. Dawson Graves steps into the second of two first quarter threes for him. Clinton feeling good. Then it's Graves again, this time throwing it up for a Brooks Culver lob. That forces a Tuscola timeout. Close one in Tuscola tonight. And the Warriors defend home court 39-35. to Alani Prairie play has St. Joseph Ogden making the long trek to Chillicothe. Hello, off the inbounds pass. Tanner Jacob shoots the three, hits the three. SJO out to a 10-0 start in this one. 
And of course, Ty Pence having a big game. Roll Birds, nice spin move on the baseline. Two of his 27. 27 2 7 on the ninth. And at the end of the first quarter, Pence not taking himself. Instead, kicks it out to Maddox. Carter hits the three as time expires on the quarter. SJO, a road winner, 70 to 46 there. Andy. Don't touch my drum set. We got two drum sets in Tolono tonight because why just have one when you can have two? Unity hosting the Rams tool. The name of the game is to score, right? Well, there wasn't a whole lot of that in the first quarter. Just three field goals combined. Jay Saunders gets the friendly roll. That's the first bucket of the game, four minutes in. Now we're rolling kind of Henry Thomas with the aggressive take. It was 8-3 after one. That's not good for TV people like us that need highlights. Later, it's Aiden Porter with the foul call and one. Can't complete the three-point play, though, at the line. And the Eagles finally get on the board. Connor Smith with a step back. That's the first field goal of the game. Nine and a half minutes in for the Eagles. Eagles. They do fight, though, and make this closer than it seemed early on. Unity wins it 56-41. to 41. Ten games down, still six more to go with stops at Centennial, Danville, Urbana, and more. Plus, we check in with Yolanda after last night's letdown against the Hoosiers. Why Brad Underwood says Trace Jackson Davis's 35 points isn't the reason why Illinois lost. Ooh, ooh.